<laughs> a lot of people were saying, why did you cover your face? You know what you look like? This, that. Look at this. The trim. That's why I was covering my face. I needed a haircut and I needed a beard trim. <laughs> Why am I so smiley? Well, I tell you, it's good. This I'll start working when a coffee does. And uh, my problem is that uh, I have one coffee too many. <laughs> Third cup today, guys. This video is regarding an incident that happened about a week and a half ago. I've been holding on to this footage. It's not great footage, not a lot happened, but it just, um, it's important I get it out there to just show what's going on out there and how frequent I encounter these moped thieves. Now I was waiting around, um, I think lurking is a term, as the gangs use, lurking. Lurk, lurk, lurk. When you sort of go into sort of en enemy territory, and in London pretty much enemy territory is everywhere because these moped thieves are everywhere. In this case, it was Shepherd's Bush. Um, I was on a dark street. I was hidden away, pretty much just waiting to, to see these guys drive past while I was working. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, I was waiting for no longer than an hour before I noticed um, guys on scooters driving around with high beam. Uh, you asked me why, you know, how do I know that the bikes are stolen? Well, the first thing is driving around with high beam, whilst having a pillion on the back. All right, it's a, it's a common tactic. They want to blind you if they're coming towards you. And actually, if, uh, if a police officer was looking at this bike coming towards it, all he would see is a light. You wouldn't see faces or anything, balaclavas. Um, so it's a good tactic, I'll give it to him. On this day, um, I, can't, I can't tell you the exact, the exact things I, I have to do to protect myself. Um, but all the things I usually do to protect myself, um, I didn't have, I didn't have my sassy vest. I then have a few other means which I use to protect myself. Um, and I'm not talking about weapons there, I'm just talking about tactics. Nothing was available to me at that moment. Um, so you're gonna see a different side of the ham off warrior. You know, I'm, people call me brave, you know, you've got all the size of elephants, they say all of these things, but really, um, I don't take risks. Um, you know, not, I don't take risks that I don't have to take. And um, pretty much I do take precautions, I take a lot of precautions. And this is a different side you're going to see to me. You're going to see this rage stop man who's, you know, chasing someone. I think I had the guy approach me yesterday saying, You alright? Yeah, man. Are so aggressive, man? Huh? Are you so aggressive? No, nah, man, not at all. Yeah. Just on my toes, man. Yeah, I heard that. Cool. Why are you so angry all the time? Actually, you couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a very cool, chilled out guy. Um, I don't know if that's been coming across as I'm just sort of some maniac who's hot-headed and just chased these guys. That's not the case at all. Um, yeah, so this is a different side you're going to see to me. As they drove past, I realized there were two bikes, three guys, two on one bike, which was a stolen PCX. I suspect it's stolen. at the end of the road I had an option I could either follow them confront three guys by myself without a stab proof vest without any form of protection I'm not an idiot 
Guys, right, moping too for home. Moved out of harm's way. I waited on the side street like a little pussy that I am. I'm open thieves. Alright, I'm outnumbered. Three of them. They're, they're yeah, moped thieves. I just see, mate. Oh, okay. This is our escape route. Look at that. They went up the ramp and they yeah. went, I think back, where does that lead to, A40 or something? Yeah. Yeah. So. Guys, it's been called in, the police said, but basically, because the police have been called in this area, they'll move on to the next. 